So I wanted to study physics. Uh, I decided in my final year of school because I really liked problem solving. And then I decided to apply to Oxford because basically a lot of the degrees that I'm from Ireland, so back home, a lot of the degrees require you to specialise before you went in or keep up another subject. So you could do physics and chemistry or astrophysics, but not just general physics by itself. And I liked that because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And also Oxford has a certain appeal. I have never actually known anyone who'd come here before, um, but I just kind of decided to apply anyway and see what happened. So it's quite contact error heavy, like most of the sciences. Um, I have one day, well, so first year I have one day of labs a week. Um, and then I have kind of a smattering of lectures and then usually about two tutes a week. My favourite thing about studying physics at Balliol is that there's a really nice community. So there's ten of us in my year and we'll all work on our problem sheets and then we'll come together and we'll like work on the answers together. And that's really nice because it gets you thinking in a new way about the problems and also it makes tutorials a lot easier when you come to them. So I do think it is harder as a woman studying physics and we're definitely a minority. I think we're the second worst subject for female representation. Um, only better than Komsky and um, it does have somewhat of an impact on my degree but that said there are really nice societies that you can get involved in to help like combat the inequalities in physics so there's Oxford Women in Physics Society and various other outreach events that you can do and it I suppose has sparred me on to try and work harder and prove myself to my tutors more. Uh, everyone here worked all the time and no one really had that much fun but that is not true. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. <laughs> So I'm the woman's officer at Balliol, so I do that along with my friend and it's really nice. Um, so it really spans a lot of things and you kind of do whatever you want with it, which is really, really nice. So we do everything from supplying the college with tampons, which means we have to spend £200 a time in boots and we always get weird looks, to um, making sure that people's welfare in college is going well and that the women here are happy and that there's a nice community, running socials in the bar and passing money for events. Um, I think Balliol is a really nice community. It's quite small um, as far as uni communities probably go, but that makes it nice because it means that everyone does know each other and everyone is friends and everyone definitely cares about each other. Um, and I think it's centred on, I would like to think, inclusiveness and a diverse community where everyone is welcome. Mm -hmm.